Hello everybody, today we'll talk about Real-Time Analyzer. A Real-Time Analyzer or RTA is an audio device that measures and displays the frequency spectrum of an audio signal in real time. Now, there are two types of RTAs, one is the analog RTA and the other is a digital RTA. Analog RTA relies on hardware, whereas digital RTA relies on DSP technology. Now, digital RTA is more common because the DSP approach is more accurate and also economical. So generally when we acquire signal, you know, we start the recording and wait for the recording to finish and then proceed to the other analysis. Now if the signal acquisition is just a few seconds long, it's okay to wait for that time and then perform the analysis. But what if the signal acquisition is, is pretty long, like in minutes or hours, we cannot wait that long to perform the analysis. Not only we would lose uh, information about what's going on while the recording is in progress, but also it's going to take a lot of time to process 30 minutes or an hour of worth of data. So at that time, it makes more sense to view the analysis itself in real time. So when we're recording, we see the analysis real time. So we don't have to wait for the recording to finish and then process. So here's an example of a real time analysis, just me speaking or whistling. So you can have a look at it. Hello. So as you can see here, uh, it was a real-time analysis. Obviously, there was a five-second delay, but then still, as soon as the recording is finished, you see this, uh, you know, the analysis right in front of you. So you don't have to wait for the recording to finish to perform an analysis. This is just a simple demonstration of how a real-time analyzer would work. So here's the important thing. The, it is a real-time question. Or RTA is really real-time. So first of all, what do we mean by real-time? Real-time literally means that, you know, it's happening immediately immediately with time. But then, you know, when we acquire the data, we do realize that there is a finite time required to perform the processing. So we're acquiring the data, some kind of processing is going on in the background, in this case, FFT, and then the results are displayed. So it's going to take some finite amount of time. Now, you know, how quickly the results are displayed depends on what kind of processor or CPU you have, you know, like the, you know, powerful processor can perform the calculations much quicker. But then we do realize that the time that it takes to perform the analysis cannot be zero because if it were zero, it means that the calculations are being performed at infinite speed and we know that that's not possible because nothing can be faster than the speed of light. So no information can be processed faster than the speed of light. So with that in mind, there's always going to be a delay between the data acquisition and the processing and the results displayed. Now, now you know, based on the you know high performing processors, it can be very minute. For example, if the delay is like microsecond or nanosecond, we are not going to be able to make any difference out of it. But if it's like a second or five seconds, we can clearly see the difference. So when you say real time analyzer, there is always a minor delay. So it's not exactly instantaneous a real time analyzer. So what are the advantages? One of the major advantages is that you don't have to wait for the recording to finish. You can view the results parallelly. Obviously, there is a minor delay, but still you can catch the problem if there is immediately. And it's very useful for monitoring, you know, during testing. So without interrupting the test, you can actually see what's going on. And in case if there is an, any issue, you can simply abort the test. All right. Thank you for watching the studio. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.